driving me in the studio is um, kind of a sense of urgency. I don't know. Um, I think a lot of it is from being a new parent and having um, kind of a hard pandemic <laughs> year, like of juggling childcare and finding time to be in the studio. Um, it's actually uh, been hard to 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 find that time so when I do it's like very intense and um I don't know if it's like I have a lot of clarity about what's driving me just because of that intensity it's like um it's more visceral it's like just like a need to to get something onto a, a page or or you know painting um a lot of what has been like inspiring me um, or like just kind of making me want to paint is that same kind of tragedy of the last year and and um, and like a little bit of escapism from that maybe like the way I paint is um, very like formally <laughs> experimental. Um, and I like to just start painting without too much like thinking or processing. Um, but as I paint that like can happen kind of naturally. Um, and it's been a good way to kind of process how being isolated has been with a like, you know, two and a half year old and um, just like how being an artist is, you know. In February of 2021, I had a show with Janine um, at 1430 called Are You My Mother? <laughs> and that work was really, a, um, I mean, a response to becoming a mother and to the pandemic, um, or it was kind of just, I made it within the, the like, restrictions of being an artist in a pandemic, um, which means I worked at home. And so the paintings are all smaller scale um, than I was used to working. I actually scaled down quite a bit to like very small, um, but I was thinking about kind of art historical, a lot of um, those frames, the like wider frames or frames that are artist frames, um, either painted or carved. And um, also thinking about these, these paintings were like mostly mother and child de depictions, not like self portraits exactly, although some of them have that vibe. Um, also kind of like monstrous mothers and childs, which is, I mean, just, the female character as like a monster is a theme of mine or you know just like kind of that push and pull of them being like both scary and beautiful or like enticing um the different materials like wanting to use wood um and stains or or painted wood um also thinking about like folk art and um and just the the like making of art like the, the like very you know the industry of making like frames and and as an art handler like I have a connection to that like to protecting the work um so the frames kind of I wanted them to look kind of like extensions of the paintings but also competed with the paintings sometimes um or just drew out the painting further like onto a different material. Um, and then I wanted them to also be like, like places where I could be more abstract and, and that they could act like a little, I think I called them like psychic uh, life jackets for the work because it did feel like extra personal to paint mothers and children. And also like a little scary, like, like just because that's as a, um, motif it's like pretty you know pushed to the side like there isn't a lot of it I feel like that that I really resonated with me since hundreds of years ago 
I work for an artist, Jessica Jackson Hutchins, and as her studio manager, but over the you know, course of working for her and especially in the pandemic, um, that's been a good opportunity to talk about art and like really be immersed in it and um, thinking about it in new ways. Uh, we've been working on stained glass um, or fused glass technically, which is a new process. Um, but the, the use of color and like beauty and thinking about those things um, with her, she's such a like diligent thinker and um, it's just been really uh, inspiring and um, and like a good like for being a job. It it like also it, it like really helps me as an artist um, in my own studio to see an artist who like has some of the same struggles, but also. Um, just the like maturity and vision to like see through them and keep keep doing the work. The community um, that I feel lucky to be a part of here um, has really, I mean, I moved here not that long ago in 2015, um, like fresh off like a, a pretty big loss and I, um, like an emotional, like a, a, a death that um, left me kind of reevaluating, like, you know, who I was and what my friendships and community were, because I had moved away from them all to um, be with my mom. And I came here um, and was like kind of promptly uh, welcomed in a, in a really like sincere warm way by some great people who I'm still close with um I got to show with Libby Warble at PMOMA and just be part of that community obviously my shows at Jan with Janine Jablonski at 1430 I think um were both really good opportunities for me to um edit and just like really think about what my work was doing, um, especially this last show that I had. Uh, I'm really proud of how it turned out, and I think it, it couldn't have happened without the support of like all these kind of mother figures that I have here. So it's been great.